drink in moderation, but that's hard to define. The guidelines depend on whom you ask and what country you live in. Over the past several years, there has been a rise in alcohol-related deaths and a steady wave of news about the health risk of drinking. Calls for people to drink only in moderation have become more urgent. But what exactly does that mean? Tongue-in-cheek, people have defined it as not drinking more than your doctor, said Tim, a scientist at the Canadian Institute for Substance Use and Research. More officially, in the United States, moderate drinking is defined as one drink or less per day for women and two drinks or less per day for men. But other countries define moderate drinking, also called low-risk drinking. Differently and recent research around alcohol health harms has raised the question about current guidelines. How are guidelines set? Experts used to think that low or moderate amounts of alcohol were good for you. That assumption was based on research showing that people who drank in moderation lived longer than those who abstained or drank excessively. The longevity benefit disappeared around two drinks a day for women and three drinks a drink three drinks a day for men, Dr. Stockwell said, but many researchers now think that those conclusions were based on data analysis that had all kinds of methodological problems, said that E, a professor of nutrition and medicine at the University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill. For example, one issue was that many people who abstained from alcohol did so because they had existing health problems, while people who drank moderately were more likely to have healthy lifestyle habits. It created really what was an illusion of health that benefit with low to moderate amounts of drinking, Dr. M. said. A new method for establishing risk uh, looks just at passage from conditions directly related to alcohol, such as liver uh, cirrhosis, alcohol positioning, alcohol poisoning, pancreatic pancreatitis, and certain types of cancer.